While North Korea and Russia remain tight-lipped about the specifics of the first ever face-to-face -face between their leaders, Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin, the summit lasted a good three hours and concluded on a cordial note with a North Korean leader saying it was pleasant and the Russian president describing it as thorough. And we have this just coming in that North Korean leader said the future or the peace and security on the Korean Peninsula will entirely depend on the future moves taken by the United States. Why such remarks now? Now, the remarks were made during the first summit between Putin and North Korean leader, and that's according to North Korea state media. Our Cha Sang Mi has more on the summit that took place in Russia's far eastern city of Vladivostok. The first ever summit between North Korean leader Kim Jong un and Russian President Vladimir Putin went on for over three hours, two of which the leaders spent alone together. At the banquet, Putin quoted the old North Korean saying, We can move mountains if we work together, as he gave a toast to Pyongyang and Moscow's bilateral cooperation and the peace and happiness of the peoples of North Korea and Russia. Last year, amid a complicated situation internationally, we celebrated the 70th anniversary of our diplomatic ties. But we have seen the Korean Peninsula stabilized recently. Russia is trying its best to play an active role in resolving problems on the peninsula diplomatically. The friendly relations of North Korea and Russia are based on a history of common purpose and interest. The people of the two countries are dear friends. We form this affection as comrades fighting the Japanese during the war and as soldiers who bled for the liberation of Korea. The leaders' one-on-one -on -one meeting started at 2.10 p.m. local time at the Far Eastern Federal University. The campus was built specifically at Putin's personal order to host the APEC summit of 2012. The one-on-one -on -one meeting was planned to last only 50 minutes but went on for about two hours, followed by extended talks with their respective top eights. On Kim's side was his translator, Foreign Minister Ri yong -ho and Vice Foreign Minister Che sun -hee. The Russian delegation consisted of numerous figures related to the economy and infrastructure, including the CEO of Russia's railways as well as the transport minister. The North Korean leader said his talks with Putin were, quote, very meaningful, and Putin called them a substantial discussion, exchanging views on Pyongyang's nuclear program and ways to develop their future ties. The last time leaders from North Korea and Russia met was in 2011, when it was Kim's late father, Kim Jong-il, who met with then-Russian President Dmitry Medvedev. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.